Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilona and as usual, I'm so excited to see you here on my YouTube channel. And in this very quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a very nice and very simple actually um, mouse rig for your character. Honestly, I found the inspiration for this tutorial from another animated studio blog. You can see it right now on your screen. Uh, these guys created very nice, you know, uh, shot with character and uh, his mouse rig and I thought that it could be very cool to to think how I would create something similar and uh, then guys actually shared their working process uh, and you can also take a look at this working process but here in this video I'm going to share my thoughts how I would do it yeah it's not an ad uh, I just want to share with you what I you know, what I love, what inspires me, and uh, blogs that I follow. In this video, I don't want to create, uh, you know, mouse graphics from scratch. I just downloaded it from Freepik. You can do it as well. And then I just modified it uh, in Illustrator. I want to uh, share with you some tips how to prepare uh, different poses of the mouse for this character rig. And then we will move to After Effects and set everything. And of course, don't forget to hit a like and drop a comment uh, and subscribe on this channel if you find uh, that I'm doing here something valuable, something useful and helpful for you. Okay, let's go to Illustrator and start working. So here is my character. As you can see, I've already prepared for the animation and for the rig. I put all details of the character to the separated layers. But let's concentrate on the mouse. And here we have a tricky moment. If you take a look, uh, you will see that I aligned all mouse poses based on the top row of the teeth. Uh, why I did it? Uh, if you also notice uh, how you're speaking, you will see that we move only these parts of the uh, mouse and we move our lips we can move it to the left to the right stretch it up and down but not the uh, top row of the teeth just because it's a part of the skull and uh, we don't have any you know chance to move it so if you want to create your character uh, lip sync more natural more realistic uh, you also have to do the same what else? I also created a new layer with all uh, mouse poses as you can see here we have the layer and uh, I align it one by one based on the same order that I use for uh, my other you know separated uh, poses for the mouse you can see it here uh, it means a lot just because I'm gonna use this layer to create the slider later in After Effects so make sure that you put all uh, poses uh, in this layer uh, using the same order that you used uh, for separated poses of the mouse and a couple of words about amount of poses. Uh, I used, uh, as I said before, uh, the a file from Freepik, so I have this amount of poses. I didn't uh, uh, add anything extra, you know. Uh, you can do more, and the more poses you will have, the more smooth animation you will get. But for my tutorial, for my goals, it's pretty cool, it's pretty enough uh, to use exactly this amount. Uh, so that's all the, about, you know, vector files. Let's go to the After Effects, uh, import these layers and work with character rig. Okay, I've already imported all uh, files, uh, all layers in After Effects and even created very simple character rig. Uh, but today we concentrate on the mouse rig, so let's do it. Here I have all my poses, as you can see, and uh, let's select all of them and uh, create the precompose. Let's call it mouse precomp. Okay, cool. Let's open it. And now we have to set the duration, just one keyframe here. And create the sequence. Perfect. Uh, and now every new frame we have another Pose. Our animation ends uh, on the 8th uh, frame and it's very important because we have to add time remapping here and put the keyframe exactly uh, on this uh, time point. And don't forget to delete the last keyframe 
And if you watch my tutorials, uh, you definitely notice this trick because I use it very often. And here we use it again. Uh, timer map. Using timer map, we just select the uh, you know part of the animation that we want to uh, later want to um, link to the slider. Okay, cool. And just in case, because I created the rig, I'm gonna link uh, this one, uh, this program pose to the controller. You can even press collapse. And now I'm going to create uh, the slider using Duke script. You can find it here, connector, and I'm gonna use very simple slider. Let's change uh, the pose and the size of the slider. something like this so uh, our circle should cover all these different poses let's make it even bigger okay I'm going to change uh, the color and I definitely don't need any fill for this shape I'm gonna turn off it and just add stroke okay cool Select the slider, uh, make sure that you use the same parameters, uh, especially value here, and then select timer map animation and press connect to properties. Let's take a look. Yay! You see, now when you change um, uh, the position of this uh, circle, our mouse rects, and I'm gonna select R for example, I see R pose um, on my character, I'm gonna select O pose and you will see that it rects. And now animating this slider, you can create uh, the lip sync for your character. So that's it, here's our result. Alvin's hot juice box. I hope you enjoyed this video, if so, let me know in comments and of course share with me your results, you can send me it in my Instagram, follow me on Instagram by the way, and of course uh, become a patron, support me and my channel, my blog, uh, and uh, grab the project file from this tutorial and other tutorials that I have on my channel. Uh, link still still in the description anyway thanks for your time guys thanks for being here and see you in the next video bye